Today's book is titled Kenta and the Big Wave by Ruth Ohi. When Kenta heard the warning siren, he ran to school. He ran to school like they had practiced before, far up the hill where the waves couldn't reach. Then Kenta tripped and his soccer ball did what balls do best. It bounced and bumped and rolled away. The school gym was full of people looking for what they'd lost. Kenta found his mother and father. The ocean found Kenta's soccer ball. Days later, when the ocean fell back to where it belonged, Kenta's family returned to their home. Everything, gone, said Kenta's mother. The house cannot be fixed, said Kenta's father. It will have to be rebuilt. Now, at the end of this story, I'm going to explain a little bit what, what happened here, why the ocean became so big and washed everything away. Every night, Kenta's family ate and slept in the school gym. And every day, Kenta and his parents searched for what the ocean had swept away. Out of scraps, Kenta managed to make a new ball. It was not the same, but it would do. Not all things could be fixed so easily. Out on the ocean, Kenta's soccer ball was plunged and pulled. If you look closely, just see a little soccer ball there. Tossed and tumbled. There's the ball again. Until Kenta's soccer ball found a beach, and a boy found Kenta's soccer ball. But the boy could not understand Kenta's writing. So he found someone who could. This ball is far from home, said the librarian. So the ball went into a box, and into a truck, and onto a plane, which flew over the ocean to land on the other side. And on Kenta's ball went by tiny truck and bumpy bike all the way back to Kenta, who said, thank you. And there he is, the soccer ball and the children. And the last page of the book isn't, it just sort of talks about what happened here. So it's called the author's note. It's not part of the story, but it explains a bit um, where the idea came from. So in, two, in the year 2011, the largest tsunami in over 100 years uh, hit the east coast of Japan. So a tsunami, it says, is a huge wave caused by an earthquake or volcanic activity. The Japanese word tsunami means harbor wave. So when that happens, uh, the, an earthquake happens in the in the ocean, the floor um, slips beside each other and it causes a big ripple. So the wave comes onto the shore somewhere. In this case, it went on to Japan uh, where Kenta lived. So Kenta and the big wave is based on true stories reported in the news following the tsunami of the year 2011 about objects, some as big as motorcycles, being swept away in the storm's waves and washing up on shore all the way on the other side of the world. In Japan, earthquakes and, ha and tsunamis happen often enough that warning systems are in place and school children living near the sea practice tsunami drills, just like kids in North America practice fire drills. So if you went to school in Japan, you probably practiced some tsunami drills if you lived close to the ocean. Um, in Saskatchewan here, we, we don't live close to the ocean, so that's why we don't have tsunami drills, because it will never, a tsunami will never reach this far. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the book. Uh, that was a Willow award-winning book from the year 2014, Kenta and the Big Wave. Thanks for listening.